So I've been having a bit of a um, flip flop of operating systems this past month, and I and that's going to continue. I'm I'm still moving forward on my laptop usage to basically using Chrome OS, and my editing has always been kind of Mac OS for about the past year. And then uh, this past month, I've been gaming a bunch, so I've been using Windows more and more. But there's certain things about each one of these that just drives me up a wall. And my favorite operating system, of course, is Linux. I've made 500 plus videos just dealing over Linux and new experiences and all the things that are just awesome when it comes to Linux. And I look at that and how everything's structured. And I want to ask you a question that watches this video. Why do you choose your operating system? Because I think that's such an important thing to ask yourself. What are you choosing? Do you choose Windows because you just know it? Do you choose Mac because it's just reliable and it's the exact same experience for pretty much the past 10 years? Do you choose Linux because you have customizability to everything you could ever want to change, you can change? Uh, do you choose Chrome OS because all you do is, you know, basically get on Google Chrome and, and browse around the internet and you just want something that you can throw on a cheap laptop and run around and get good battery life? I mean, all these operating systems have these purposes and I'm going to do another video basically outlining what I just said. You know, this is a too long, didn't watch if, <laughs> for these videos in the future. And why do we use the operating systems we use? Because there's some, some things, and it's not to say that they don't exist, but there's some people that chooses operating systems. I really want to know from other Linux users, hey, do you, do you just use Linux because you want the free and open source software? Do you use it for privacy security? Uh, you know, the more politics side of things, uh, which, you know, I always kind of crap on. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I just, I really don't like that side of Linux because it turns into like this more religious zealot uh, follower that just says you have to use it for everything, which I always find limiting. I always like, hey, use the right tool for the right job. And Linux is great when it comes to productivity and creativity and, and just basically making what you want. Uh, but uh, to use it for everything is uh, not it's not the best at a lot of things. And uh, same goes for Windows. You know, Windows is not the best. And honestly, uh, this past month with me being on Windows, it just made me more angry than anything just because it should be the best at everything, but it's practically only really good for gaming. And I really hate every other experience in Windows uh, down to how the system's design, the file explorer, just continually having poor implementations, all those things. I just don't understand why Windows sucks as bad as it does when it's good at gaming and it has a huge user base. It should be much better. That's why I keep developing my my toolkit, basically just to expand on that, to, to make it better, uh, make that experience better for those Windows users out there. And then Mac, uh, I, I don't necessarily like, but I use all the time because I love Final Cut Pro. When it comes to video editing, Final Cut Pro is just, uh, everything else is just such an inferior product compared to when I learned Final Cut Pro, compared to DaVinci Resolve, compared to uh, Lightworks, Caden Live, you know, Shotcut, Premiere, you name it. I've tried them all. And Final Cut Pro is like a 10 and everything else is like a seven or lower in compared to uh, that. So much so, I don't really even like Mac OS. I, you know, I've, I've talked about how reliable it is, but I really haven't said, hey, Mac OS is a boring experience because you have this same desktop reiterated just a little bit different across every single Mac. And I hate this look. I hate this aesthetic. I, it kind of reminds me of GNOME on Linux and I don't like it. I don't like its workflow. I, I've changed it and I've done a lot of different things with Mac OS, but at the end of the day, I always feel like I'm just handicapping myself or I'm very limited. And then Chrome OS, kind of the underdog of all these that I've been talking about. It is an amazing operating system as long as you have a $200 laptop that would be pretty much worthless otherwise. You can check your browser. It has an incredible battery life. It'll take that 
two hour laptop and turn it into an eight to 10 hour laptop. It does a, such a good job with power management and usability. So it's my recommendation if you want a $200 laptop. Past that, Again, a limiting experience because a lot of different things. I'm still using my Chrome OS inside on a laptop, mainly for my daily driver, just so I can expand on that skill set and figure out all the things it can do. Because right now, everyone just thinks of Chrome OS as a glorified Google Chrome. And I wanted to expand on that and make it do a lot more using these confined you know, specs with uh, amazing battery life on a, a portable, which I think is good. So uh, Chrome OS is something I'm also looking at. I'm obviously looking at Mac OS every day uh, that I do these videos and Windows is what I game in. And then Linux is kind of my home in a lot of ways because I like being in that the most. But I want you to answer this. Why do you use your operating system? Do you do a boot? Do you use multiple operating systems? Do you use all four like me, which is you're a big weirdo? I, I like to know these answers. And that's really what I made this channel for is to have these more discussions and less of, hey, here's here's how did I do things. I, I want to help cultivate the main channel with the feedback I get over here because the main channel, it's just gotten so big. It's hard to reply to comments. I, I do see some comments, usually members and things like that over there that I can see their comments, but past that, I really don't see too much. Uh, it's just a lot of different spam and uh, usually troll comments like just use Linux on the windows videos and those types of things. I'm like, ugh, please don't comment like that. It does nobody any good. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at on this. And I, I'm really just looking for someone to say, hey, this is why I do these things and give a good answer to it. Because I rarely get, hey, use the right tool for the right job. And that's really what I really want to enforce upon people is all these operating systems are good at something. And all of us have, it, just like I think every human is good at something and you can learn something from everyone. Uh, sometimes good, sometimes bad, but, but mostly you can always, there's ways to develop and expand. And that's really what I want to do. And this next coming week, I'm going to try and uh, push more and more content out and help people kind of see this, but also seeing what the weak points are. What don't you understand that you would like to know more of? Uh, so what operating system are you using? What would you like to know if you had to pick one or two things to learn? What would that be? Because that's really what I want to do. I have a ton of things, ton of video content to make here that uh, I could just jam out all these different things that nobody's ever heard of. But a lot of it, I find like I think I might need to rehash some of my earlier content because I think some folks just aren't getting it. And uh, maybe there's something I haven't explained very well that I could explain better. And let me know in the comments. That's what I'm looking for. So, you know, a, a lot of people over here don't know me. I'm over here, but I, the people that do, I feel like have followed me for a long time. And I know that you will have good feedback and something that I value in your feedback. Uh, I, I'll continue making videos for all operating systems because again, use the right tool for the right job. I just want to know what do you need to know the most about? Because I love... The number one priority for me is to share knowledge and teach you some skill or something about something you don't know to provide that value that I so dearly look for in every YouTube video I watch. And with that, I will see you in the next one.